Hi, it's Paris from Epic Reviews, a health channel, and in one of my recent uh, good foods to eat on your diet videos, I was mentioning this particular product that has uh, wheat berry and cranberries, almonds, and quinoa. And quinoa, people are crazy for quinoa now because it, it kind of looks and tastes like a grain, but it's not. It's actually, they consider it a superfood. It's got a lot of protein in it. It's a vegetable. It's super healthy compared to eating wheat, supposedly, and so it's really taken off. Everybody wants to eat it. The problem is that people who live in the area where it's grown, which is uh, the Andes in Bolivia and Peru and around there, they can't afford to eat it anymore. So I read about this recently and it, it really bothered me that um, because this is so healthful, people in that area, way up in the mountains, because it seems to only like to grow up above 11,000 feet, so not a lot of farming goes on in the U.S. above 11,000 feet, but, down, but because down there in the Andes they have a significant popula population of people actually living at that altitude, well there's only so many things you can grow to eat, it turns out this is very healthful and it grows at that altitude, it's been great for them for thousands of years, until recently when it was discovered by uh, countries that decided, hey, we want that and so we'll pay you good money for it and it turns out as it stands right now in Bolivia 90% of the quinoa that they produce gets shipped out. Only 10% is staying there and um, what's staying there is very expensive because the demand is so high the price has gone up tremendously. For example a ton of quinoa, if, if a company is going to buy that to put it in their product in the United States, they're going to pay over $3,000 for a ton of it. Now you need a ton of wheat it's about $300. So quinoa is 10 times more expensive than wheat. So you can get an idea of how um, people in Bolivia that are involved in the, the farming of it and the processing and the selling, they're making good money, I'm sure, and the government is very much in support of them exporting the quinoa because it brings money into the country. But for the people who live at that elevation and um, there's not a lot of other choices in food, they've been able to afford and eat this for a long time, but now they can no longer afford it. What are they eating? Wheat and rice and other western foods that they can actually import more cheaply than they can to keep the quinoa there where they actually grow it and to eat it. Anyway, this is an issue I didn't know about before and um, I thought, well, what are we going to do? You, you would like to continue to support the Bolivian economy, but you don't want to do such a dirty deed to the folks who live there and have actually developed and lived with this grain all those years. Now they can't even afford it to feed it to their children. Some report was actually some mentioned that um, some children there now are actually showing up as malnourished because they can't afford to buy this and feed it to their kids anymore. And what they're buying, uh, the, the Western imported food is so unhealthy that their kids are actually malnourished. So, is there an alternative, something that some way you can still eat the quinoa, but feel, but not feel guilty about it. Is there a way that you can still get the benefits of quinoa and continue to eat it without feeling morally bankrupt and without making the folks who live in those the, the Andes and in, in Peru and Bolivia nutritionally bankrupt? Well, it turns out there is. Had to do a little investigating to find out, but um, there is a company that um, is involved in the fair trade. If you're familiar with that, they do that a lot with coffee and with chocolate, where they make sure that uh, people basically aren't being taken advantage of in the trading situation, and that the uh, people at the lowest end of the system, the people who actually go out and do the harvesting, do all the backbreaking hard work, get a, a, a fair amount of money for their efforts and aren't being taken advantage of. Well, they've now, um, there's a company that's doing that with quinoa, which is good. This is really what it needed. And it's called Alter Eco, you know, as in Alter Eco. They uh, do it with other products, especially with chocolate I've seen, but they now will, they sell packages of quinoa that you can buy that are um, fair trade certified. So you don't have to feel bad about buying them. They've made sure it's coming from a, from farmers that are doing things sustainably and that it's not just big mega farms that have bought up everything in the area and are you know, mass producing it and the local people receive no benefit. So there's a company called Alter Eco. I've put a link down below. You can check out uh, some of the products that they have. Now when you see the prices, you're going to realize why people are still buying the regular quinoa at the, at the supermarket. Probably two to three times higher if you're going to buy the fair trade version. So, well, take a look at the link and check it out, see what you think. If you're dedicated to having quinoa in your diet, which is a good thing, 
and you're also dedicated to not taking advantage of the people in that part of the world where it's being grown, you're just going to have to shell out some more money. So t take a look at that, see what you think. I recommend you stick with the quinoa. It is so healthy, it is still considered a superfood, but um, it just doesn't taste as good when you know it's doing something bad to people somewhere else.